Alright everybody, welcome back to the Morpha Project. Uh, it has been some time, uh, <laughs> like probably uh, two weeks into it. Yeah. Um, I'm finally back in action. I realized that uh, playing video games and uh, doing drawings and working on the PC all the time without doing absolutely nothing is not good for a neck. And uh, it gave me such a headache, I thought myself, you know what, I will, you know, take a break and uh, fix that a bit, a little bit. So, I uh, actually did. So, no further ado, let's get started on this, because we actually need to do that. Um, so, today, we're going to be working on the grass again. I wonder what kind of grass, uh, just rocks? Just rocks. All right. Um, we're gonna be looking for the grass. I want to know where the grass is and how it works. Uh, e no, this is the coloring. That's that part. Then this is the yes. Then that is the coloring bit. All right. So what today we're gonna be doing is actually fixing this part up. So we're gonna be. Uh, Beautifully coloring things up and running, uh, coloring things, and then uh, we're gonna add in the uh, last bit, which is uh, this part right here, and then uh, we can move on to the next part. So uh, yeah, oh, uh, that's not the color I was wanting. That's not the color I want. I actually want, gr I actually want, you know, just casual green. I'm gonna do it in the original way. I'm gonna keep the pencil because the pencil is actually quite handy here. Um, because a, it's not as deflective as uh, well, it's not. It doesn't cause transparency while doing this. And then uh, once we're done with that, then we're gonna be switching back to uh, old-fashioned, uh, old-fashioned Charlie. So, ah, uh, uh, yeah. So yeah. So yeah, it has been some time uh, working on uh, working on the Morpha project. I have been doing some stuff in the background, don't worry about it. But right now I'm trying to uh, figure out like where did I left off, and I was like, oh yeah, the grass, the grass that grows, that grass, right? Yeah, I forgot about that. So yeah, fixing up the grass a bit, fixing up the color coloring issue. And then once we're done with that, uh, we're going to be moving on to the next part. And that is important, you know. Um... There you go. Wait a minute. There we go, and now we need to add in the, the color again. So yeah, fixing it up, getting the grass up and running, and then uh, move onwards to the next part. What I like about this, what I like about this is actually, you know, that it is very relaxing to uh, to see and uh, move around with. Uh, I never felt like in a hurry when uh, doing this. Anyway, the the grass drawing it. And hopefully, you know, once we're getting towards the point I need, um, we can fix the rest of it. So what I want to do is actually fix up this whole mess right here. So all the rocks, I want, I want all the rocks to be fixed, and then uh, get this bit up, uh, up and running. So get this towards here, and then that will fix a lot of the issues that we have currently. Of course, you know, this takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of problem solving, but uh, in the end it will, uh, it will work fine. So, um, this is, this is separated. Oh no. That's not a good, good thing. 
it's absolutely, absolutely the best, worst thing you could do. Separate the colors. Oh well. Uh, luckily, this is all uh, you know, fine. And uh, yeah. So how are we gonna do this? Well, we want we want to create the we want to create the colors, right? We want to create the happy little go colors that everybody loves. So, uh, I need some better coloring. There you go. No, a little more lighter than this. How did it? Is this too? Is this too too little? Uh, is it too little pressured? Yes. All right. Fine. I'll go for this color then instead. Oh, I'm coloring on the wrong side. Ooh. But it should not matter. It does. Interesting. Oh. Alright. Now we can go back to this and then fix it up. So. That is too. That's too bright. And yeah, that's the color I want. So what we're going to be doing now is actually giving the uh, the grass that lovely little flash uh, flourish, you know, when when the sun shines on it, it always has that nice little wet color on it. The wet effect, uh, I believe it is the wet oh wet effect that I want. Of course, you know the wet effect can be negated by a lot of things, but I think this will work fine. Also, I need to learn. Uh, I also learned that I made some couple of mistakes back in one of my drawings, and uh, the next time I, when I draw the the drawing again uh, in a different position, or well, different emotion I I expression, I'll put it that way. I'll uh, try to uh, get the coloring a little bit more better done because it felt a little bit too empty, honestly. So yeah, it's a lovely little drawing. Um, I can say that uh, a lot of it has been running uh, quite steadily, and uh, the more the more I uh, the more I did actually doing the, uh, doing the drawings, I re came to the realization that you know I really needed uh, I really missed uh, working on the mothawk honestly. And doing the things in general. I don't like doing breaks. It's my least favorite thing to do when... Uh, because breaks uh, disrupt your uh, workflow most of the times. But they are important, not less. That's, uh, health goes above anything else. So. Fixing that is uh, important to do. And uh, I'm also I'm quite impressed upon uh, the result of it. The headache is less, and uh, the more I, the more I, uh, the more breaks I take, the more, um, the more exercises I do, the better it gets. So uh, I can only walk, I can only go forward. The only downside is that you know, it had pressured my uh, head for quite a long time. So uh, it's gonna be t taking like a couple of weeks before that. Uh, whole thing is going to be kicking in. But uh, until then, you know, I'm very happy upon the result I booked with uh, all of this. I had some joy. Uh, I had some lovely uh, lovely experiences. Um, Sunday? No, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, there you go. Saturday. I finally was able to join a D&D game with Crow in the middle of the night instead of uh, not doing that. Because, you know, being uh, being able to do such things actually is quite cool. To see how other people do their uh, 
doing their bo uh, how other people play uh, play their tabletop games is a, a really lovely experience, and I mean it. It's uh, I had lots of fun with it, and I'm very happy for that I was doing it anyway. Um, Sunday I will be able to go do it again. So, eh, it's always great to see that uh, such things uh, never go grow old. Sunday I will be able to go back uh, to one of my friend's uh, houses and uh, play some more board games. Um, or tabletop game, let's put it that way. Well, technically it's not, no, it's just a tabletop game, but uh, with cards. And it has that French name that I cannot pronounce, so hey, you know. It's always great. I believe it's called Malifax, or something like that. Uh, probably already butchered it. Oh well. Uh, -ba -doo. You can see that, you know, uh, the more we put light into the grass, the more it lights up. And that's why, you know, light is important. But once we have the light into the grass, we also need to lo We also need to make it... We need to make the grass look a little bit more nicer later on. Because we cannot have only grass that, you know, is pointy and sharp. We don't need to have a razor wire grass. That's uh, that's not our goal. Um, so to fix that, uh, how do I'm gonna be doing that? To fix it, I'm gonna be using the uh, hard brush, uh, well, the darker brush as well to implement that effect that uh, is on the other side here. So creating darker spots, creating lighter spots, and the more we do that, the more you know, reliable, we're gonna get um, a kind of effect that uh, represents the grass. Right now, we're only using the lighting to create uh, create, uh, create some nice little environment effect. Like, you know, you're you're hustling through, uh, through some grass and touching it. And eventually, you know, we want to end up with, you know, creating this effect that uh, expands all, ra all around it. Of course, you know, that is going to be a tough one to do, but um, not impossible. This is why I always like to take my time on these things, anyway. So, um, to make sure that I'm doing the Morpha project correctly, I'm going to be trying to do fix uh, this part of the grass first, and then if we have some spare time, I also will... Uh, fix this part right here and then uh, try to draw some bit more right here to uh, get to the other side so that's what uh, that's my goal and uh, I think uh, that's an excellent goal to go for I have been trying out some new games uh, honestly to see if I want to play them or not and uh, the main the main problem with these games that normally I try to play it's like whew, they're grindy as hell because you know free to play games and grindiness that's always a nice combination and uh, they always hold me back. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I can play the game without grinding and then you know just play it for funs and shits and giggles. Probably I would. Probably I would. But. Uh, I do want to see if I can do it, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to improve upon myself, trying to improve upon my drawings. Uh, I have been busy with it. I also am very satisfied upon uh, the idea that I did lately. Um, one of the major uh, major issues that I had with the with the drawing itself, uh, with this drawing, for instance, is that uh, the draw style of it is not fully um what the where 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 did that come from did it come from here no okay uh no where the hell did that come from it came from here okay so it came from here but how no. 
Yes. All right, that's a, such a strange thing right there. Yeah. Anyway, what was I? Getting distracted and bitracted by everything. Um, yes, rocks. That's what I wanted. As you can see right now, uh, the lighting effect on the grass already creates this kind of effect that makes the grass more uh, lush and more exciting to look at. Um, the main issue of the grass being not lush is that it will fade into the background and totally be forgotten. So if you have a special napkin or whatever you wanted to have as a child and then suddenly you forget how it looks, you then forget where it where it's supposed to be uh, lay, laying and then you know eventually you lose your la napkin and uh, your napkin is no more surprise so yeah it's important that we are creating this lush effect on the grass to give the environment itself the feeling of um Given the environment itself, the feeling that it is lush and uh, nutritious on the on the on the soil. So what I'm going to be doing here, um, I believe I can do it here. Yeah, what I'm going to be doing here is a little bit of a cheeky bit, and uh, I'm going to be trying to create some little bit more sparkly. Oh, yeah. I'll try to get I will try to get this bit a little bit more lighted up because right now we don't have that lighting everywhere. We we have it on certain locations, certain places, but not in the real things like you know on some certain types of oh it was not on the light part oh it was not on the light part god dang I hate the middle but I hate the middle button sometimes. The main issue of the middle button is always that I always forget where uh, what color I'm using and then, you know, suddenly I lose all of the colors because I'm accidentally pressing the middle mouse button and then, you know, switch it too fast. Which, of course, is a thing that can happen. No, 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 no. Uh, there is never a guarantee that it cannot happen, but it would be nice if I was able to catch it on time without, you know, making major problems happening. So we want uh, eraser like this, probably. Yeah, we do. Awesome. So yeah, making uh, making the light on the uh, grass a little bit more lighter, giving the feeling of, you know, a light source, a beacon, a beacon that can create light. And then, you know, it, it gives already the feeling of the grass to be a little more lush. The main issue is that, you know, some of the grass doesn't have the lush. And that's where we need to, uh, you know, implement it. Alright. Now we're going to add in the darker color. And why do we want to have a darker color in this as well? It's because if we don't do the darker color, the, the drawing will be looking odd. Um, because, you know, you have this horse and there is no shade. You want to give the feeling of shade, like, you know, um, the, the leaves are going to give the shade. So, therefore, you know, you have an uneven uh, landscape of grass that, you know, sometimes gets some shading sometimes doesn't get some shading and you want to see how the shading goes but right now uh, this is the wrong color so we're gonna be not using that we're gonna be looking into which which kind of color do we want well probably it's gonna be this kind of color I believe right yes this is the color I want all right cool All right, so since that we want this color, we want this color to be uh, not on. Nah, I don't want it to be in this one. I actually prefer if we go for something like this, probably. That one is too harsh. I believe this one is correct, right? If I use this, it will give the feeling of darker areas in the area, right? 
It does, but it is not strong enough. So we're going to be looking into this. So if we go for something that gives the feeling of a darker spot, probably like, you know, bubbles maybe, like bubbles giving the darker spots in the area, it already gives the feeling of it a bit. Now, um, let's see, if we're going to go for this, what happens then? Do we want maybe something like this, like a or like a spree tree? Yes, we want, we want a spree tree and we want some more darker colors here. So we want more darker colors around the environment here. Around the uh, bits of rocks. And uh, then we also want some more lighter uh, li uh, lighter bits right there. But first things first, we need to make sure that we have this one up and running, I believe. Yeah. Oh. And that's not how I wanted it to be. Um. Huh. Alright. Um. We want this color. Can I get. There you go. That color, but we don't want. We don't want this. We want actually to have the shitting on the rocks. So, how do we do that? We could place the rocks on top, that won't work. Um, now we're in a little bit of a debacle. Um, well, we can do, we can solve this, we can solve this. We can salvage it and solve it. Uh, the first things first we need to do is get this one, but make sure that the 75 is there, so that, you know, we have some um, shading differences. Then we want to fix this bit up, and then we're going to use this shitting on a different level. I think that's the smart move. No, and we want this bit to be there, yes. That bit, yeah, there you go. Alright, I need to press this very, very carefully. The main issue here is that, you know, every sudden movement can actually cause a little bit more effects to happen. And happen and happen and happen and happen. But it should be fine. It should be fine. Right. Now we're gonna look at this. Well, it did give a nice little effect on it. That's for sure. It it did get it did leave its mark, but it didn't cause too much of an effect, honestly. And it does give me the idea of what I want. So um, we need to look into the uh, lines. Yes, we need to look into the lines of both of them. Now. Um, I want to know if I can do this, alright? I want to know if I can do a drop of shadow onto this. So we want to have a drop of shadow. We want this to be uh, the same size as the uh, size 4, I believe, yes, size 4. And now we want this to be not on a distance, we want it actually to be on the same viewpoint. There you go. Now, as you can see, um, I don't know if you can see it properly, but this now actually has a shading on it. The the, the pencil itself, the, so th this whole place is now shaded with some kind of, you know, shading. 
the idea here is that we're going to use this shading effect on both on both on both of the grass to give the grass the more feeling of a shade um so rather instead of you know giving uh rather that we give the uh ooh, that's not a good one but rather than having the effect on the drawing on you know light and dark we are actually implementing it a little bit more differently now for instance for this one i actually don't want this i actually don't want you know i don't want this to be too heavily so i want it to be like 60 probably and if i now give this a go i can look into this so right now we have created the feeling of a shade probably so right now we have created the feeling of shades yes we have created the feelings of shades but they are too harsh especially this one is actually too harsh and i don't like it so we're gonna implement this to be a little bit more on the brighter side so we're gonna go for four i know this is not gonna be taking a lot of time a lot of pro probably and we're gonna implement the spread on this so that it is a little bit more random all right we want then a little bit more there you go no 12. Yeah, almost. There you go. Does it look into the rocks? No, it doesn't. All right, it doesn't uh, drain into the rocks, and uh, as you can see here, you can see the shading bits of uh, bits above. So it does a drop of shadow, but it's an absolutely trashy one, which is fine. It's it's it doesn't matter that the, that the, it doesn't matter that the shading is there. It, it matters that we have the shading now. That's the idea. So now that we know that we have the shading, we want also to increase this bit. Um, the main issue right now is that we have uh, this beautiful, you know, this beautiful mush of uh, some uh, colors and sparkles and things that we don't need. So um, the idea now is that we're going to implement a little bit more lighter, a little bit more lighter color into it. Eh, sorry. And why we want to do this is actually because of this effect right here. We don't want it to be too much and we don't want it to be too big. So now we're going to be implementing this bad boy a bit and uh, we're going to add in the uh, coloring a little bit here and there. So what this is going to do, it's going to give... We're still going to keep the shading, don't worry about that. But we want the shading to be not as... Um, we don't want to have the shading to be that much of a concern too many times. And by doing this, it, it gives the shading a little bit more of a head start on certain types of places where I don't want to have the shading and on certain parts I do want to have the shading so therefore you know we're going to keep the shading. Um so yeah. I don't know if it is very useful for most people but um uh, for me it's very in uh, very interesting to see what happens if you uh, uh, what happens if you light up some bits and then you know implement it a little bit and it doesn't always have to go the same way as it always has to be. Don't worry about that. It just, you know, gives you a little bit of a feeling. You know, you want to create this lush effect? Well, fine. You need to figure out how to do it. So, therefore, you experiment with certain types of things and certain types of ways of doing it. Right now, we're using the shading, or, uh, the shadows of the uh, of the pencil drawing that we did. 
to create it, but we also offset it so that it doesn't affect the uh, drawing too much. Therefore, you know, we can still use it even though, you know, it's not that much of a big deal. And what I really like about this is that, you know, we can now create this kind of, uh, I not, not ideal, but this kind of feeling towards the, towards the drawing and give the lush effect on the drawing a little bit more of a leeway. It's, it, it gives the, it gives the, it gives the, it gives the grass more enjoyment to watch and flourish. Yeah, probably that's the right word for it, but watch and flourish and uh, flourish, uh, flur flourish, uh, flourish, there you go. And the more we do this, the better it gets. Th there is no bad things about this. Honestly, if it was, I would have already said so. Right now, we're going to create, you know, the I ideal solution towards this and the more we do this, the better. And it doesn't ma it doesn't matter that we're using you know all of these techniques to just create our uh, to just create the uh, to just create the effect that we want. But it does give you a it does give you a leeway. It um, it gives the grass, as you can see, a more dense dense appearance. And you can see that the grass, yes, it does have a dense appearance, but the parts that are too dense, we can still, you know, remove a bit, fix up the bits that are a little bit too dense, and uh, there you go. It's now more or less dense and uh, more enjoyable to watch. Um, there you go. Because we use the pencil. And this one right here needs to have a little bit more of enjoyment. So right now there are some black spots, but not too many to count. Nah, only right here. There you go. Right here, right there, and right here. Yeah. So there are some black spots. So. How long are we going to come after this black spot without causing too much of an issue? Well, we're going to look at this and we're going to see like, ah, well, the, the shadowing is, is the thing that we want, of course. Yes. So we're going to copy this. I know it, it might sound very stupid, but we want to copy this and paste it. There you go. Now we want to remove the drawing. That, uh, now we want to not remove the whole thing, but we want to just remove the drop shadow. So right now we have this one and we have this one. So now we have the big giant drawing that we have and we have a very good old fashioned one. Now. To fix this uh, issue that we have with this one and this one, um, we only want the parts that we need to fix. So we're going to put this down on probably 10% maybe. And now we're going to be casually removing some bits. We're gonna be doing it in a very nice and gentle way because you know we don't we don't need everything we don't need everything we just we just need some some bits some nooks and crannies and then once we're done with that especially once we're done with it we can then you know con consider it to be done so once we have this right now we have done it we 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 successfully you know created the effect that we need uh yes all right cool so we have these things and uh, we want we want some bits to be not as reliable as they should be well we can fix that up we can fix these things up and now and now we can just you know see if we remove this 
we can see that this right here is now our cool idea. Now, what we're going to do now is a very strange idea. We're going to use the draggedy 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 you, And uh, we're going to reshape this a little bit up and down. You know, when you when you try to do stuff, you want to make sure that you're doing the things that you want to do. And that creates certain types of things. And uh, one of these things is that we're going to be making this whole place a little bit out of whack. That's the first thing we want to do. Oh, that's the copy one. No, I don't want to have the copy one. I actually want to have the draggedy droogity drew. Yeah, there you go. Draggedy droogity drew. I want that. And why do I want to have the draggedy droogity drew? It's because it actually creates the shading. And the shading makes all of this so much easier to handle. Because as you can see, this shading is black. We we know that it was black all along. We knew that it was uh, a color that we didn't want wanted in our uh, lovely environment. And uh, by uh, by creating this kind of strange immersion of the color, we can now implement that into the grass. So that's how we're going to do it. Now that we have put it off shape, put it off course, we, we, did, we did what we wanted, we're now going to even do something even else. So instead of black, we're going to pick up the dark green it's a uh, it's the color that we have been using for the grass for a long time so we're going to use a dark green and we're going to erase all of this into dark green note how now the color of the the color of the line art the color of all all of this is not going to be you know be affected too much you can see now that that this will give us the feeling of a lush environment. You can see that there are some light spots, there are some heavy, uh, there are some lights, there are some light, light tips, but there are also some dark tips. And this will give the feeling of, you know, the environment that I've just been describing, the, 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 the foliage that just came through. Now that we have done that, we also need to do it on the top, of, on the upper part. But we don't have to, because, as you can see, right here, as you can see, it is technically quite well done. It does have some parts that are need to be done correctly, so we're gonna do it, but we're just gonna be doing a little bit. So we're gonna make sure that we have the layer style. We're gonna drop the shadows off because we don't need them anymore. We're gonna make sure that the color is correct. So we're gonna make sure that it's all brown. Oh, we're gonna make sure that it's all dark, uh, dark colored. And uh, we're gonna put things out of whack. Oh, well, first we need to erase some stuff. So we're gonna do that first. So I don't want this bit. This bit, this bit, all the all the dark spots we don't need. We we don't want too many dark spots on our cool looking drawing. It it creates too much of a hassle to deal with later on, and uh, we want we want some visible or visible ideas. So now that we have done that, we can now uh, get this one up and running again, and we can change around where we want these bits of nooks and crannies to be you know it's not that hard to understand where you want to put them but there you go so if you now look at this you can see where we are you can see where we need to be and ta-da we now have created an environment of course, there are still some things that I want to do because, you know, there are still some leftover uh, coloring issues that uh, need to be addressed. So uh, we're going to do that because, well, there are some issues here, here and there that uh, need to be uh, drawn into.
of course, you know, you cannot always rely on the same thing, and uh, that's good. Because the watch is indeed a thing that we want to create. Um, there you go. Yes. All right. Um, I think I will leave it here. Just because I finished the first side and I want to do it on the other side as well. But therefore, I need to do some concentration and I also need to add some more stuff in. So uh, that we will be doing tomorrow. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed for today. And uh, thanks all for watching. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you a lovely day. And uh, bye!